Hello fellow travelers, I'm Nomad Jim, a retired, minimalist, solo, full-time, slow traveler. Thanks for stopping by. If you're going to be traveling the world, part-time or full-time, you're going to need to have a way to manage your finances, both where you are and also back home. So in this video, I'm going to be addressing the different things that you need to keep in mind with respect to managing your finances while you're traveling. This is video number five in a series of videos covering 10 key things that you need to address before you start your part-time or full-time slow travel journey. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you may ask is, do you need to have a foreign bank account? And the answer to that is no, you don't need to have that. You can use your bank account that you have in your own country and simply withdraw money from that account using an ATM. If you have a debit card from the bank where you have your account, you can simply use that in any ATM around the world to withdraw money anytime that you need it. When it comes to paying for things, wherever you happen to be, you can withdraw money from an ATM and pay with cash. You can exchange money at a currency exchange place to get the money in the currency of wherever you happen to be. You can use credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, these are all different ways that you can pay for things when you're traveling. If you want to learn more about how to manage your money and pay for things when you're traveling, click on the link above and it'll take you to a video that I did concerning that issue. Now you may be wondering how you can pay bills or invoices that you might receive while you're traveling. And you can do that by paying online using a credit card, a bank account, PayPal, things like that. So it's possible to do it from anywhere in the world. And you want to make sure that you're getting your bills, your invoices paperlessly. So you're not going to be getting them in the mail. You'll get notified that you have a bill that you need to pay by getting an email or some notification like that. But if you do get bills in the mail, then you want to make sure you have something like a virtual mailbox so that you can see what that information is and know what it is that you need to pay and how much you need to pay. So to learn more about virtual mailboxes, click on the link above to a video that I did about mail service while you're traveling. So what if you happen to be traveling during the time that it's tax season? Well, if your taxes are complex and you have somebody doing that for you, they can continue to do that for you while you're traveling and they can notify you if they have any questions. If you have taxes that aren't that complex and you tend to do them on your own, then you can continue to do that as well. You can use a service like TurboTax. That's what I use. And I've done my taxes from a number of different places around the world, wherever I just happen to be at the time. I've done it from that location. It's worked out just fine, no problems at all. So it is possible to do your taxes from anywhere you are in the world. One thing you need to keep in mind is that any transactions that you might be doing online that are of a financial nature, you want to make sure you're doing it on a closed, secure network, not a public network. And it would be a really good idea to have a VPN, a virtual private network as well, to give you that extra layer of security. So don't ever do any financial transactions or checking your accounts or anything like that when you're on a public, non-secured network. Do you have any other tips that you use to manage your finances while you travel? If you do, please share those in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, let's get out there and travel.